Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli. Thank you for watching. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my supporters. Please support me on Patreon. And if you're in the market to buy a Tesla car, please use my referral code. Thank you for those who have. I got so many lately. That's awesome. I want to tell you, in 2019, when Tesla introduced the Cybertruck, I was so excited and I never owned a pickup truck in my life. Drove many of them, never owned one. No, I don't need it. And I ordered it right away. $100 of my hard-earned cash put into that. Well, now we are in 2025, March of 2025. And the app, my app has, please design your car, and I have not. Well, it has to do with my needs. It has to do with my wife who hates the car. But it's still there. And you know what? Turns out I am glad I have not yet taken it. And I don't know if I will. But if I will... I'm probably going to get a better, better, better uh, uh, car uh, than than what it is right now. So, I just want to say, if you are going to wait for the latest and best in technology, you will never buy anything. Okay, never buy anything because there's always better iPhone, there's always better battery, there's always better range, there's always better technology, there's always better FSD, there's always better everything. Okay, however, there are exceptions to the rule. So Tesla is working on the dry cathode technology for many, many years. Uh, and it, it, Tesla had a lot of challenges in this area. But it looks like the dry cathode technology is coming to fruition probably soon. And the Cybertruck that is, uh, that is equipped with uh, a dry cathode battery, this is the 4680 batteries, is only a few months away. So many, many thing, things are happening in Tesla as of now. You know, the robot taxi, the cheap models, uh, a refresh for the Model S and X, the Model Y launch, Elon Musk and the government, Tesla car burning. There's a lot going on. But when Tesla uh, 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 launched the, the Cybertruck in the end of 2023, started to put in that sale, the beginning price, the starting price was $100,000 for, for the dual motor and $120,000 for for the tri-motor. This was much, much more expensive than the $40,000 that was promised way back when, when the uh, Tesla was, uh, uh, Tesla Cybertruck was uh, introduced. Hence the very, very sluggish sales. It becomes like almost a niche car, really. Now, since then, obviously the prices went down. Today you can get the Cyber uh, truck uh, uh, for like little, about $80,000, just make it uh, eligible for the uh, tax incentives. There are a lot of discounts, inventories. You can use my referral code and you can get $1,000. Well, you can get it in the low 70s if you want the all wheel drive. Now, the Cyber Beast is still $100,000. But Tesla have to find a way to lower the price. The, if you lower the price, they will sell much, much more. So the uh, Tesla is going to equip this Cybertruck with dry cathode. Now, dry cathode is very, very important for, for many, many things uh, in the 4680, uh, hopefully in the next few uh, uh, months. So dry cathode, are what's, what's a dry cathode? It's a battery that doesn't, that doesn't, produce, doesn't use uh, any liquid to, to, to glue it together. It's like a fruit roll, okay? It's like a fruit loop, okay? So lithium ion, conventional lithium ion need those liquids to glue it together, okay? Uh, I don't know, silicone or whatever that is. So instead of that, the dry cathode is used like dry powder. Imagine you uh, glue two things without regular liquid glue, but with some kind of a powder, okay? That in theory, it reduces the complexity of the uh, uh, of the battery and the complexity of the production of that battery, and it's very very uh, environmentally friendly. Now, as of now, 4680 batteries are the lowest in cost to produce per kilowatt hour, better than any other battery in the world. So I don't want to like, get into the to the weeds of this, but an electro uh, uh, um, the the electro the cathode the dry electrode cathode that i that i used will be incredibly better incredibly better uh, uh, than the liquid one that's the point that's the point with charging and recharging okay so that that's like that's what solid state batteries are trying to do so tesla is saying that this change is going to save billions of dollars from the cost of producing this battery hence the car will be much cheaper 
and hopefully 4680 with dry cathode would be used in every single Tesla car. That is the point. That's how you're going to uh, 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 lower the price. So as of now, Tesla is uh, Tesla's, you know, a, a, a Cybertruck have um, 123 kilowatt hour of uh, nickel, cobalt, and manganese. Okay, last year Tesla said that there will be four different kinds of batteries that are in development, what we call next generation. Uh, next generation that can be used for the robo taxi, the 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 uh, um, you know the um, uh, cheapest uh, Tesla cars, and and all that. So. Dry cathode have, have had and still having a lot of obstacles, okay? It's a big effort. It's been around for five years of many efforts since Tesla acquired. Remember Maxwell Technologies and nobody paid attention? A company from San Diego. Tesla paid 218 millions to 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 uh, acquire them. So this this is why they acquired. They were very, very, very good in dry cathode. That was the promise uh, uh, at that time. So, uh, if this is solved, and the battery in the pack is going to be fifty bucks, then the Cybertruck and every Tesla car price will be down by twenty, thirty, forty percent. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine a Tesla Model Y? Which did experiment with some uh, forty six eighty, but not too long. Was it was a disaster? If it can be cheaper better better charging less degradation for 20 30 thousand dollars less the end of gasoline that would be great <laughs> we'll follow this story thank you guys for watching